Welcome to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing a study of the Taylor Swift bob that she wore when she went to the Grammys. That nice textured solid bob with a real heavy bang. So we're going to figure out how to add more bangs to an area when the hair is not necessarily the thickest and also how to get texture in it so it always stays modern and soft. And this is my inspiration picture which I'll put kind of right here. Looks good? Yes, I like that, so let's get started. So instead of everything being completely blunt, I'm gonna keep the blunt shape, but I wanna put some internal texture in the last inch and a half, two inches of it, so it makes those ends softer and easier to blend and easier to style in a lot of different ways. We have gone through and cut our one length already. I have gone through and resectioned out from ear to ear, so I have the nape of the head, which is where the bulk of the hair is on most people. So I wanna go through and thin this out and put a little texture on the bottom. And I'm gonna use my Tokyo texturizing scissors from Jatai. So this is the perfect middle of the road thinning scissor for me. It's seamless and doesn't leave any kind of marks and removes just the right amount of hair. So I'm gonna start with a section right in the middle. I'll pin this hair out of the way. I want to be mindful to only texturize and thin each section one time the first pass through. So now I'm going to take my vertical section, I'm going to hold this out 90 degrees from the head, and then with my scissor I'm going to take the straight blade underneath and the tooth blade on top, hit it right in the middle and then once towards the ends. Right in the middle, once towards the ends, pull that hair out. So I hit, hit. Maybe on the longer lengths, I hit it three times. I just want to go through, remove some weight, and build some softness on the tips. I'm not trying to thin the snot out of this to where it becomes real wispy. I still want to maintain my blunt shape, but I want to go through and remove some of that weight so it's more pliable and easier to move around. Now I'll pin that hair out of the way. I'll take my next section, pull that out, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Follow us on your favorite social media at Jatai Feather. And as I start to do this, I get a feel for where the hair is thicker and where the hair is thinner. So where it's thicker, you can see where it's thicker right there and it's thicker here underneath. So where it's thicker underneath, I may hit it a little bit more to even that out. Where it's thinner, like right through there, maybe I just do the tips thicker here all the way through. And that way I can even out the thickness and the thinness. Like right here, you see nothing. So I'll just do underneath and just a little bit on the tips. And then that, and that goes through and gives me a nice even amount of texturizing from about middle of the way underneath, only on the surface layer on the top. So we're gonna go through same thing on the other side. Now as I'm working on the top section, I want to maintain a really blunt heavy shape. I just don't want it blunt and heavy underneath. So I'm going to start pivoting out of the crown I'm going to comb this hair at peak elevation, which is going to be right there. And I'm only going to do the very tips. I'm not going to worry about thickness on the top because I want that, but I do want the ends to have movement and swing and pliability. So we're going to pull that out at peak curvature ribbon that together, and then only work on the last two inches of the hair. Continue to work that all the way around. Let's see, let's take a little bit of that. I'm gonna pull this out over the ear just to maintain some solidity over the ear. Get that out of the way. This is not gonna matter because we're gonna do a heavy bang on you, so we're gonna do it anyway. Now we're gonna go through and do the same thing on the other side. Give us a thumbs up, click the subscribe and the notification bell to be notified of future Jatai Academy content.
Now, let's move on to the bangs. Or the fringe, if you want to be fancy. Now, to make sure that we have a really heavy fringe, we're going to have to add more bangs, more hair, to the bang section than we would normally do. A, a normal bang section, unless their hair is very, very thick, is not going to give you enough solidity to make that real heavy. The normal bang will go to the center of the recession and the first curvature of the head on the hairline, right on the parting. So now this would be the normal amount of bangs per this person's head shape. It's not enough to make a real heavy bang, so we're going to have to add a little bit more. How much more do you add? It all depends. So we're going to start here and get our basic shape in, and then we're going to add a little bit more when it's wet. We're going to get to the point where we think it's right, blow it dry, and add more if we need to. It's going to be a trial and error sort of approach because we don't know exactly how much hair it's going to take to make that bang kind of heavy. So to keep the bangs solid but still have some softness on the ends, I'm going to use my feather styling razor. And I'm using the fancy silver one because it's fancy. I'm going to comb everything forward. I want this to be right at the bridge of her nose. So I'm going to pull this forward. The bridge of the nose is there, and I'm going to go a little longer and then lay the razor right there and take a stroke of about an inch. That way I can keep everything nice and heavy, but still have a little bit of movement to it. Now on the side, pulling this forward, but because I'm going to elevate it a little bit on this side, I'm not going with the curvature of the head. I'm going to elevate it a little bit. It's going to get a little longer towards the edges. Lift up, elevate. There's my line. About an inch through. And I think that's looking pretty good. Same thing on the other side. Make sure I elevate my knuckles and keeping my finger tip right exactly where I cut the previously cut section. Same razor stroke if I can help it. Cut that down and through. Now knowing that this is going to shrink up a little bit when it's dry, I want that to hit right at the bottom of her eyeball that way it shrinks up a little bit and it's still below her brow and we can kind of sweep it over to the left or sweep it over to the right. If I feel I need to fine tune this, I can fine tune it with my Tokyo thinning scissors. Now I think she needs a little bit more density to this, so we're gonna add a little bit more. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna keep my go to point the same and add a little bit more hair from the parting. Pin that out of the way. Now that's going to add a little bit more density to this and make this a little bit stronger and heavier. Since I'm using a razor and the hair is getting a little damp, I could use water, but if I use a little bit of Jatai Blade Glide, it makes everything easier to comb and makes my blade slide through the hair easier for better, more consistent results. Comb everything through and smooth. There is my line. A little shorter stroke, not as broad. Right through there. Next piece, same methodology I was using before. There's my line. Cut that down and through. Next section, the other side, down and through. That might be enough. So, since I think it might be enough, we're going to go through and blow it dry, and then take a look at it and see if we need to add more. Looking pretty good. Now after blowing dry, 
it seems that the way that the head curvatures on my model here, this hair here in the back wants to flow forward. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit more to her fringe, to her bangs. So I'll separate that where that hair is wanting to fall forward. I will pin this hair back. Look and see where it's wanting to come from. And that seems about it. I don't want to use a razor on dry hair because it tends to explode the cuticle. I'm going to go through and use my Tokyo thinning scissors again and get me a razor sort of texture without using a razor. So I'll just start and vary in and out as I go through and cut anything that hangs over my fringe off. So I'll take comb the same way I was with the razor. There's my line. And I'm varying in and out and just cutting anything that hangs over off. That's going to give me a nice, heavy, solid bang. If I feel I need to clean something up, I shall go through and clean that up with my thinning scissors. This side, not as much. Let's put a little hairspray on you right there. A little hairspray right, right there. There we go. Nice. A uh, little swept over just a little bit just to get it out of her eyes like she wears in a lot of her pictures where it's longer. Or you can wear it heavy straight down. I think the end result looks pretty good. We got a nice little beveling in the bottom to soften it up, but it still has a heavy solid bob shape. And then we have a little bit of a solid bang. And I think about the bottom of the eye, eyeball is about the perfect length for this kind of in your, in your eye, in your face bang without being completely irritating. That'll probably only last a week or two, depending on how fast her hair grows. But anyway, I think it looks pretty good. Please check out the Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of fantastic information on there to make you a better hairstylist and barber. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.